invite the women in the audience to join in. Um, <laughs> procrastination. I'm going to leave that till next time, if you don't mind. I'm actually here tonight to meet like-minded people. People like me. People like me that mutter the word ear. Do you know what I mean, ladies and gentlemen? I'll demonstrate. Ear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, drugs, eh? I tried to get the wife stone this week. I couldn't get enough people to hold her down. <laughs> also found out it's totally illegal in this country. It's a privilege reserved for English teachers in Sudan, apparently. <laughs> but I love her dearly. I love my wife dearly. She's here tonight. I mean, dearly is what she cost me. <laughs> we, actually, we actually met on a golf course. First date was brilliant. Both playing around. She's a great, she's a great woman though. She prefers men to liquor, but that's another story. <laughs> I actually discovered recently that she's, she's a control freak, but not just a control freak, she's a triple control freak. I mean, the video plus, the sky, the TV control, all the three of them she has to hook to herself. So I said, okay, that's fine if you want to do that. Keep them somewhere safe, somewhere that I can't get to. So now she keeps them in her knickers. <laughs> Still better than the ex-wife. I mean, I gave up donating to the Salvation Army because of my ex-wife. But twice she went missing and twice they found her more back. <laughs> And we ended up getting divorced because she caught me in bed with another woman and I won't stand for that. <laughs> Takes a bit of time. <laughs> Guys out there, what about sex? You know the scenario, you want it, she doesn't, you're in the mood, she's not, you get huffy. And then eventually she says, okay, fine, I'll do it, I'll just lay back and think of England. And I think to myself, if you're going to lay back already, for fuck's sake, why can't you think of me? <laughs> but no, you're happy to go ahead even though you're not in the mood and think of that stupid England team. Even though all they can do is dribble and can't even score. <laughs> Don't get it. And the girls, any girls out there tonight, help me here girls. The G spot. What the fuck's that all about? <laughs> I mean, you know, what's it stand for? Good? Great? Got it? Geronimo with a G? You know, in my day, and I know what you're thinking, but believe me, there was a day that was mine. Well, not all of mine, a bit of mine. But before I got married, it was all of mine. Since then, it's none of mine. <laughs> but in my day, in my day, the first sign of any spot found up there meant stay away, keep clear, wide berth. But now you want to give it a name, give it an initial, hide it somewhere that's impossible to find, and then tease us if we can find it. It's going to heighten your sexual pleasure. I don't get it. Just don't get it. I'm bring back Canistan, I say. <laughs> and, on, and on that G subject, what about G strings? Or as it's trendily known, the thong. Anyone in here wearing a thong tonight? Yeah, you, sir? <laughs> it's going to be the most uncomfortable piece of clothing ever invented. I mean, tell me, walking along the street wearing a thong, it, it must be like dental floss in your bum. <laughs> Anyway, enough about sex and underwear. What about, this is for the girls only, date rape. Date rape girls. I've still got the 15th and 23rd of this month left. In the <laughs> but please book early to enjoy your disappointment. Because <laughs> well, I know what you're thinking. You know, I am actually a sex object. I really am. I mean, I'm always asking the girls for sex and they always object. <laughs> so what next? I'll tell you, plastic surgery, that beats me. I mean, why is it if you want a boob job, it costs an arm and a leg. <laughs> I don't understand going to plastic surgeons anyway. Well, what's wrong with a real one? <laughs> anyway, I just want to just want to touch on the subjects of the stupid things that people say because people do say stupid things, don't they, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, what's the first thing someone says or they do to me when you tell them you're going on holiday? Oh, I'm going on holiday on Wednesday. Oh, going anywhere? Nice. I'm so tempted to say I'm going somewhere fucking shit this year. <laughs> you know, I booked somewhere nice last year, might go somewhere nice next year. This year's crap for me. <laughs> Morning Mark, they say, because that's my name. How are you? Oh, I'm in bed, thanks, I say. So, good. And on they go with the conversation. Haven't they heard the stupid answer I've given? People say ridiculous things, like, what's this saying, bringing up the children? I mean, it doesn't apply to me, because my parents never had kids. <laughs> but bringing up the children, I mean, don't swallow them in the first place, I say. <laughs> However, if any of you have been unlucky enough to swallow your kids and you feel sick, do you know how to make yourself sick? Were you told as a kid, stick two fingers down your throat? I discovered recently, it's not the way, the best and most effective way to make yourself sick is to stick one finger up your bum. Yeah, seriously, one, right up your bum. True. Oh, and then down your throat. <laughs> Uh, but it'll make you sick, I promise. Okay, so it's Wednesday night, lottery night. Anyone do the lottery? Because I do the lottery. Just a little bit of tip, little tip here. If you're going to do the lottery, 
buy your ticket at the beginning of the week, because if you wait till later in the week, all the best numbers are gone. <laughs> <laughs> we all want to win it, don't we? I want to win it for one reason. I want to prove that money won't buy me happiness. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true, I do. So, that's about it really from me. So, my name's been Mark. You've been a paying audience, and just so you're not worried about me going on those crap holidays, I will tell you that I have been abroad, but I'd rather be a fella. Thank you. <laughs>